Hello, Phil Swan here again from Llanelli Free Evangelical Church with another episode of Together. Maybe you've taken on board what we said in the last one about cutting out the garbage which we take into our lives. There's an awful lot of bad news at this time and we need to be careful in the way in which we filter that and we control it rather than being controlled by it. Anyway, today I want to talk to you about a word which um, was very popular a few years ago, particularly at Christmas time. Uh, it's not an English word, it's not even a Welsh word, but it's, uh, I think it's a Danish word, it's certainly Scandinavian, and it's the word huga. It means well-being and uh, it has its original uh, root in Norwegian, but has been very much popularised in recent years by, uh, and embraced by people living in Denmark and other parts of Scandinavia. And it basically means finding for yourself during the day a place that is cosy and comfortable and safe and it's just for you. It can be anything. It can be hot chocolate with marshmallows, which I don't know I entirely recommend, but it could be that. It could be uh, a nice pair of gloves which you put on and you go out for a walk when it's cold. It could be just about absolutely anything. It's about finding a happy place it's about investing in yourself. It's about being kind to yourself and looking after yourself, even if it's just for a few moments. Problem is, a lot of us have real difficulty doing that. And it comes down to basically probably this root thought that somehow we're not worth it. And we could think like that maybe because of things people have done to us in the past or said to us, or maybe things we've done or said that we feel shame about. It's shame that stops us investing in ourselves. And investing in ourselves is not sinful, it's wise, it's right, it's healthy, and it's reasonable. But shame can be incredibly powerful. And the soundtrack of our lives so often because of shame is that somehow we're not worth it. And that can be extended to huge areas of our lives and could cause all sorts of trouble. How do we deal with shame? Well, it's a big issue, isn't it? But to cut to the chase, the Bible deals or at least points us to where shame can be dealt with. It is in the recognition that our lives are broken, our lives are flawed, our lives are not what they should be. And that often we have lived in a way in which we should not have lived and said things we shouldn't have said and done things we shouldn't have done. But the great news of the Christian message is there is total forgiveness available from God through faith in Jesus Christ. He is the one who offers to take our shame and to love us freely and to give us new life, acceptance and to call us his children. I wonder where your happy place is. Though probably ultimately there is no happier place than in the arms of Christ and in these lonely uncertain, difficult, challenging days, please understand you are worth it. Not just because of it's important to find a nice place where you can be cosy, but you are worth it because Jesus Christ came and died for a sinner like you and was raised from the dead that you might have new life and be freed from shame. God bless you and keep you safe.